Hey guys, what's good? In today's video, we're gonna learn about how to create a variable and assign it to a value. So without further ado, let me get into... Okay, now we're into the code. And I'm using the online GDB beta version. Um, it's an online compiler and debugger for, they say, C and C++. You can also write Java code on it. So I created my public class main and my public static void main string args. And you have to do this for Java all the time. I don't know why yet, but we will see what happens with that in future. In the future when I learn about it in school. But okay, so here's our little setup here. So let me create a variable, and you can create, make the name anything you want. So let me create a variable called um, pool. So you have to make sure you. Um, assign the type because Java you have to like put the type first before you um, set up set up a variable so like let's make it an integer cool okay and then you have to put semicolons after your after each comment in Java as well so we just made a variable um, an integer called cool Let's make another one. Integer rooms. Let's make a double value. So a double is like an integer, except it you it, it holds more numbers. So when you want to do an integer, it like you can do certain, you can do many things with an integer, but it's not as big as a double. So a double can hold like floating point values, like um, decimal points, and we'll show that soon. But um, let's just make a double. Um, cooler. Okay, so these are some. Let's make a string too. String um, YouTube String YouTube. So we can what we've done is we've just init we haven't initialized the variables yet. We've just listed some variables and they're not initialized as of this point. So let's initialize them. Cool equals um, 4. And you can do expressions as well. And then remember it's an integer. Rooms, which is also an integer, equals 12. Hold on. 12 plus 4. 12 plus 4. Cooler is a double. So a double you can do a decimal point number and a string. I mean it's a string, so Let's just go string equals Okay, let's see what happens here. So let's evaluate rows or 
Or no, let's let's run it and see how what happens. Oh, I forgot. Okay, it wasn't initialized. to be so let's like write some system dot out dot print lines here. So let's print out rooms. Okay, so you can see uh, in the order that we wrote the system about dot print lines, it printed out rooms, which it evaluated up to 16. It printed out YouTube, which we made the string an online platform. It printed out cool, which we made, we've initialized to 4. And it printed out cooler, which we initialized to 96.0. So that's how you make, um, that's how you make variables and then also how you initialize variables with what you can initialize them with. So remember an ints you can only put an integer there or you can make an expression that evaluates to an integer. A double you can put a decimal point and then a string you can write a sentence or put a character there. Okay and that's all for this video. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out.